and welcome to this week's Council Plus News. I'm Zach Harper Blunt. Pumpkins, costumes, and treats, put those together and what do you get? Halloween. It's one of the few times of the year where we get to eat as much candy as we want to. We visit a couple places this year to give you a look at how people celebrate the holiday. I've got a few words for you. Trick or treat. That's right, it's Halloween time in Council Bluffs. Kids and adults dress in their favorite costumes for the holiday. What's the line? Anna. I can't say the name of my mask, but I can remember the name of this thing. And how excited is everyone? Really excited. Friggin' ecstatic. I love Halloween. Yeah, they're really, really excited this year. They're old enough now to get more candy than normal. For some, the candy starts coming in a day early, beginning Friday at the Mall of the Bluffs. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Along with the sweets, kids play games and get their faces painted at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It's just a, a nice way to kind of get the kids in the in the community, but without kind of the free for all that's in our neighborhood. So it's kind of controlled and, and kind of easy easy access. And across town, some celebrate All Hallows Eve with a little spookiness thrown in. The Scroll Cage Jail holds a pair of Halloween events on the weekend. First, haunted tours of the museum being led by only a flashlight. Last night was insane, absolutely insane. We ended up on a segment with uh, another TV station and that really drove in a lot of people that we never expected. We had 147 people in three hours, which for us was incredible and amazing and it was a lot of fun. Then on Saturday, the spookiness is optional. The second floor remains geared towards the older audience while well, the main floor is tuned down a bit, allowing youngsters to trick or treat at the museum. Well, the kids have been having a blast. Get to go through, get all their candy, get to see all the cool stuff and the pumpkins and the, the clowns and everything. And if you need a reminder on why Halloween is a favorite of many, well... Man, it's all about the candy. Halloween is the best holiday ever because everybody's giving you candy. So as far as that goes, they're happy when they leave here. And the fun doesn't just stop there. In news around the bluffs, we take a look at other festivities taking place over the Halloween weekend, starting off at the campus of Iowa Western. Thursday, October 29th, the second annual Haunted Reaver Bus takes place. Various activities are on hand like cookie decorating and a pumpkin patch. The event provides a good time for the kids and for those helping out. Oh, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a good atmosphere. I think the students bring a really fun vibe to it. Uh, they, they want to be here and they're having fun interacting with the kids that have come in so far. Once the two-hour event is over, the Iowa Western Wrestling Team holds its second annual wrestle-offs, offering free admission for attendees. The Southwest Iowa Leadership Academy holds a night of Halloween fun and also a fundraising opportunity. Friday, October 30th, the Monster Mash Family Halloween Bash takes place at Lewis Central Middle School. The event was originally scheduled to be outside, but moved indoors due to rain. The weather, however, not an issue for attendees. They're still able to enjoy a variety of games and a costume contest. We're trying to think of ways to make money for leadership, and they decided that it's Halloween time, everybody loves Halloween. They thought it would be fun to do something for people to come to and so we could help raise money. Anna also tells us that there may be more fundraisers for the organization before the end of the school year. And wrapping up news around the bluffs, while most offer trick-or-treating opportunities, one business offers something different for the holiday. Saturday, October 31st, Thunderbowl and McCoy's Lounge host trick-or-treat at the Thunderbowl. Over the seven-hour event, attendees receive a free $5 game card for bowling, and at McCoy's Lounge, kids are able to eat for free. The event is just one of several that the business is looking to host on the holidays. All the holidays, we're looking for something different. Uh, we're coming up with new ideas all the time. Again, you know, this is really a family entertainment place, so we want to provide a fun, safe place for families to come. Thunderbolt and McCoy's Lounge are already planning to host an event on New Year's Eve to help bring in 2016.